Okay, so this is red. 1959 Morris 1000, which my son Luke and I have pretty much fully restored. Just a few more things to go. There's um, the roof lining, uh, the exhaust, and the electrics. Just got to fix up the electrics. And we put uh, LED indicators in there because I wanted to keep the original lights. And that's where the problem is. Uh, I have rewired this for negative earth because the Morrises were originally positive earth. The fire extinguisher. These bars I had to fashion because you just can't buy them anywhere. So I have the auto cadder there if anyone wants to. And I did the pinstriping and the re-chroming. Uh, stainless steel trim. The wiring is all a mess because we have to finish that off. Lining in there. Uh, water temperature gauge in here because they didn't come out with those. We had to reupholster the interior. All of it, carpet, parcel rack, door trims, Pam sewed these leather things up. Fantastic, worked really well. We need to redo the back panels. And yeah, the roof lighting needs to be done. We will get to that. Redo the rear parcel shelf. Repad that. Come up pretty good actually. Fairly happy with that. Now we um, put some neons in here to light it at night. Lower the carpet. Each seat, and there's some under the dash. Okay, so we rework everything, carburetor, new head, um, just completely detailed the engine, added some chrome, electronic ignition down in the, uh, the distributor. Uh, we've redone the oil, because the other one was terrible, a bolt from underneath, it used to leak all the time, so that brings it up to standard. But it looks uh, authentic. Having a bit of uh, coolant leaking problems with the thermostat, so we need to fix this somehow. I'm not really sure about that yet. And like I said, the wiring. Basically, put all new parts in, all come from England. Pretty much everything brakes, bearings, ball joints, yeah, everything water pump, fuel pump, everything. So it's scrubbing up, and we're almost done. 